they did make it um, back in time, obviously. We're just going to have an amazing night of worship. It's going to be real um, intimate, very... Um, I, God's going to do some really cool things, and I just I just believe that, that He's going he's gonna to really speak to people. It's going to be a great time for you guys to... Um, if you're not the raise your hands kind of people in church, tonight actually might be a good experience for you. Not very many of us here. It's just going to be a real, um, real close time of worship. Um, we've got a couple people that are visiting with us here tonight. Want to say welcome to you guys. Thank you for coming. Um, and so we're just going to open in prayer, and then we're going to get started. God, I thank you so much that you are, um, that you're on the throne, and that God, you've given us this amazing opportunity to come tonight and to worship you and just to fall at your feet. God, I pray that you would come into this house tonight. God, you're welcome here. And God, we want to praise you and we want to worship you and we want to lift your name on high. And we want to thank you, God, for who you are and for everything that you've done for us. God, we just uh, pray that you would help the men to get home safely tonight, but that, God, that you would do an amazing thing with the people that are here. God, you move, you come and, and you join us tonight, God, because this is all for you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You guys want to go ahead and stand up. We're going to we're gonna start. Um, the worship stations are open. We do have the journaling. Um, if you just need to sit down and you want to write a letter to God, tonight would be a great time to do that. It, you don't have to worry about uh, the time frame because this is all it's going to be tonight. So if you if you want to write a letter to God and, and express how much you, you love him, or or maybe you just need to get some thoughts out. Uh, the journaling station is, is open. There's notebooks, there's pens. There's also a vessel of water over there with some rocks around it. Um, I don't know if you're like me, but there's this, during the week, you have all these things that bombard you, and, and you're like, God, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, and, and the things that just keep happening, but if, if you'll go there tonight, there's nothing magical about that, but if you'll just pick up that rock and recognize exactly what sin that is, whether it's um, gossip or um, that you have a bad attitude or, or whatever it is. If you just look at that rock and really, really, really look at it and ask God, God, take this from me. I'm giving it to you. I, I want to cast it, cast it into the sea of forgetfulness. We use that term a lot. And all that means is that we want to throw it in there. We want God to forgive it and we don't want to pick it up anymore. That way in in the rest of your week, if that happens again, when it comes up or, or you want to say something about someone or you have that negative attitude, you're going to remember that you gave that to God. And that's going to be a great opportunity for you just to step back and to thank God that, that, he's, that he was able to, to help you to remember that. Um, we also have the cross over here on, on my left that there's something that's standing in the way of you and God tonight. It's going to be, like I said, an amazing time of worship. So if there's something that is standing between you and God, worshiping God, go over and pick up an index card, write that sin on there, nail it to the cross, give it to God tonight to where you can truly worship and enjoy this time that, um, that he's given us. Last weekend, Sunday morning, we just, God moved in an amazing way when we were having worship on Sunday morning. And, and we talked about that a lot this week. And tonight, it can be better than what it was Sunday. And I'm really excited about that. So don't let something stand in your way of experiencing that, uh, that God has for you. And then we also have the giving basket. Um, you guys know that that it takes money in order to do things, but more importantly, it's an act of worship to God. And so um, if you normally give, I want to encourage you to do that. If you've never given before, I want to encourage you to do that tonight, to, to, to worship in giving. And so just join us tonight as we sing. Some songs you may not know, but the words are going to be up on the screen. And just join us tonight as we really come into, um, into worship and really worship God.
that breaks the darkness Showing what true love is Always full of goodness You are my passion You never do me wrong The meekest man but strong The most perfect song Yeah, you are my passion One of the themes that I feel that's been part of this church in this season is just surrender. And we've been working on our new album. We plan on going to the studio probably sometime in late December, early January. But the title we've got for the new album is We Surrender. And the, uh, the title track on it, we're actually planning on opening with our own version of I Surrender All. So lift your voices tonight. Sing all to Jesus. All to Jesus I surrender all to Him I freely give. I will ever love and 
trust him in his presence daily live all to jesus all to jesus i surrender humbly at his feet i bow worldly pleasures all forsaken take me jesus take me
surrender now I feel the sacred flame Oh, the joy of full salvation Glory, glory to His name I surrender all to you, God. I surrender as yes, I give it all to you. Lift your voice. And I surrender, let him hear it, all to you. Sing that one more time tonight. I surrender.
holy, holy is the Lord Almighty God. If we lift Him on high, and I lift up these hands, I shout out Your praises. I give it all to You. I give my all to. I shout out your praises. I give it all to you. I give my all to you. Sing holy, holy is the Lord Almighty. God, we lift your name on high. Holy, holy is the Lord Almighty God. We lift your name on high. Holy, holy is the Lord Almighty God. We lift your name on high. Sing, I'll stand. And I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned in awe of the one who gave it all. I'll stand my soul. All I am is yours, and I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned in all of the one who I'll stand. My soul, Lord, to you surrendered all I am is yours. And I'll stand, and I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned in all of the one who gave it all. I'll stand. My soul, Lord, to you surrendered all I am is yours. We shout it out. And all I am is yours. What could I say? What could I do? Put off of this heart. But offer this heart, O oh God, please to you. What could I say? What could I do? But offer this heart, O oh God, please to you. So what could I say? So what could I say? What could I But offer this heart, oh God, completely to you. And I'll stand. I'll 
I'll stand with arms high and heart abandoned in all of the one who gave it all. I'll stand my soul, Lord, to you surrendered all I am is yours. Yes, all I am. And all I am is yours. We stand amazed at the work of the cross. We are saved. We are saved. We are saved in our sin. Our sin has been forgiven. You have broken every chain. We are saved. We are saved. We are saved. We are saved. We stand amazed. We stand amazed at the work of the cross. And we are saved. We are saved in our sin. And our sin has been forgiven. You have broken every chain. We are saved. We are saved. We are saved. We are saved. All the honor. And all the honor forever, Jesus be lifted higher, we owe it all to you, all the honor forever, Jesus be lifted higher, we owe it all to you. All the honor forever, Jesus be lifted higher. We owe it all to you. All the honor, lift him up, let him hear it. All the honor forever, Jesus be lifted higher. We owe it all to you. And all the honor forever, Jesus be lifted higher, we owe it all to you. We stand amazed at the work of the cross, we are saved, we are saved in our sin. And our sin has been forgiven. You have broken every chain. We are saved. We are saved. We are saved. We are saved. At this time, I'm going to continue to play lightly and I'm going to ask Ellen to come forward and she's going to she's going to give a quick testimony and, and just share some words with you guys tonight hey, you guys can be seated <laughs> wouldn't make you that so um they were practicing up there and they said that um, Chad wasn't coming and so I was like hey Jake someone should give like an awesome testimony you know and he's like what about you well and I was like ha very funny okay but um but I'm here and um I just want to tell you guys um I believe that um th giving your testimony and giving you know telling people you know what God has done in our lives is one of the best ways um to you know to further his kingdom and the best ways to show you know that God is real in our lives and um you know, and I grew up, like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen Tim Hawkins, but, like, he talks about how, like, um, how, you know, you know, he's like, oh, you know, I don't have that great testimony that everyone, like, oh, I was, in, you know, drugs, and da 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 like, and, like, that's totally me. Like, I would sit there and be like, that's totally me, because I grew up, and I was this perfect little kid, and I didn't do anything wrong, and, um, 
And so I was like, I have nothing to give with a testimony. But I think um, that God shows up in our lives, and, um, and that in itself is a testimony. It doesn't have to be, you know, when you are saved and, you know, with those different things. Because like, like Chad's been talking about, you know, it's, continue, it's continuing every day in our lives um, to, you know, lay down ourselves on that cross and um, to tell God that I am not perfect and I need um, your love every day of my life. And um, so God shows up in, in our lives in that way. And so um, I just want to tell you guys, um, I grew up in a uh, church, uh, a Southern Baptist church, very traditional. And, um, you know, I gave my life to Christ when I was eight years old, blah, blah, blah. And, um, and so I, but I lived a very self-righteous faith. You know, it was one of those things like, you know, am I not drinking? Check. Am I, you know, am I, you know, talking to people about Jesus? Okay, got that down. I'm going to church. Yep, you got it. So I assumed, you know, okay, I'm a, I'm a Christian. That's awesome. And um, until I went to college, um, I got involved in the Christian campus house there. And that's whenever God really started revealing through me, through the word of, um, of how, like, of how the Acts Church was and, like, what was it that, you know, that, that just brought people to God. And um, I re started realizing that my faith wasn't like that at all, like, wasn't, you know, even, you know, a 0.0999% of what Paul was. And, um, and so, you know, with that, with being in that, um, that ministry, uh, I really started to um, just, you know, showing God's love. And, um, and I started listening to a lot of Francis Chan and, um, and then, you know, a lot of my friends like, you know, David Platt and John Piper and just listening to those different things. And um, just with my, with that community of my friends and that fellowship, I really, you know, transformed into that, you know, that every day of our lives, you know, is just, is a surrendering to God and doing his glory and giving him the glory in everything. And uh, so uh, I graduated um, in 2012, or May 2012, last May from Mizzou. And um, while I was student teaching, um, I was student teaching in Blue Springs, Missouri. And um, I would just kept praying because I didn't have a job, obviously. And I was just like, God, you know, I want your name to be glorified among all. Like, you know, wherever you place me, I want your, you know, your life and your, what my life to be, um, to be, you know, you seen through me. And um, wherever it is, God, I don't care. Like, you can, you know, ship me off to Zawahili or whatever that is. Um, you know, ship me off there. I don't care. Um, I just want to be glorified and honored to you. And, um... You know, I just want to be that light that you have, God, and I just kept praying that over and over again while student teaching, you know, come February, and um, so I started putting in a lot of different applications and things like that, and, um, and I went, and uh, there was an opening in Mexico, Missouri, which is about, um, oh, about an hour away from where I grew up. And, um, and so, you know, I was like, okay, this is kind of cool. Like, I'll just go, you know, and they, and they asked me to come in for an interview. And a couple weeks later, they uh, offered me a part-time position there as an agriculture teacher. Um, so I teach ag, by the way. And, um, and so, uh, so I was, you know, sitting there, I was like, okay, you know, and I told them not yet. And, um, I was like, this is, this is perfect. Like, I can do this. It's okay. I can go get my master's. Um, Mizzou's not too far away. And, um, and then, uh, a, another position came open in Tuscumbia, Missouri, which is about 20 minutes from where I grew up, and, um, you know, and it's where a lot of my cousins, they live in that area and stuff, and, um, and I always told myself whenever I was um, getting, trying to get jobs, I said either I was going to, A, um, go to an urban setting because I thought for some reason that, you know, urban teaching consumers about agriculture was what I needed to do, and, um, and B, or go just go back home, go back to where, you know, my family is. And, um, and so, you know, I was sitting there, and there wasn't really any urban positions that were being open or whatever, and, um, and then, uh, and so I, uh, this test company thing came open, and it was one of those things, like, I thought it was perfect, like, God, divine God coming down, like, this is where you're supposed to be, um, because for the longest time, that ag teacher, like, everyone told me, like, I, I acted just like her, you know, we believed in the same things, like she had the same philosophy in her program, and, um, you know, and she was going to the where I wanted to be, you know, in five years or whatever, and I said, this is perfect, um, I have all the right ends, like, my cousin, like, he used to work there, like, I can get this, no big deal, and, um, you know, and I've got this, and so uh, I got the interview, and whenever you went, I was like, man, this is perfect, like, you know, I know the right people, and I'm going to get this job, you know, God is amazing, woohoo, and, um, and so I, what I did is I turned down the other position for Mexico to get this job. And um, I got the call uh, after the interview that I didn't get it. And, um, 
that was quite the day because <laughs> you know I sat there and I was just completely just devastated like that was that was it like that was what's gonna happen I was gonna move back home and um, you know and and uh, and I said you know I just didn't know what to do like the, all the positions all my friends were filling up you know jobs and uh, and I, that was that was it you know and I just sat there at the Christian campus house just crying you know just completely just so devastated and I'm not the most emotional like I don't like to be emotional or in front of people so it was really hard just like you know oh my gosh and so um but I remember thinking you know even through the storm God I will praise you I know that this is rough but um there's a reason why I'm not getting this position and um and at that point um my family is extremely important to me um and you know it's one of those things like there's like 50 of us in this little well us there used to be I don't live there anymore and um there's uh 50 of us like are people in this like 30 mile radius um and my family my mom's one of six and they're very big about you know family bonding and like together and we're always best friends with each other you know and which is great and um and so I was like man I'm gonna be able to be there with my family and uh God shut that door and I just sat there and I was like oh my gosh like what am I gonna do and um I need to figure out something and so and then I looked and I found the job position at New Madrid, Missouri. Uh, and so I you know I told my my grandma like before that was before the test come position. I was sitting there joking around at church and I was like, yeah, you know, either I get to Tuscumbia or I go down to New Madrid, Grandma. Like, what up? And so goes, Grandma, she's like, no, you're not. That's not gonna happen. Like, I'm not making letting you move five hours away. And so um, anyway, and so when that didn't happen, I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna apply. Apply, no big deal. I'll do this. And um, so. Uh, they pretty much, I called them to ask about the interview, and I wasn't, I didn't turn in my application yet, and they kept calling me back, at, like, calling me, calling me, like, please come down for an interview, please, we beg of you, like, we need someone, please, like, come down, and um, so I took the four-hour, you know, trip down here, and uh, at first, I was sitting there, you know, I was like, row crops, like, I don't know what I'm doing, um, like, God, like, this is not me at all, like, I mean, you know, I, this is, you know, I can't do this, like, they've never had a, a female ag teacher, like, within the area, like, everyone's gonna be like, really, ag, you, okay, and so, I was like, this is not gonna work, and, uh, oh, excuse me, and, um, through the interview, I just felt God, like, just that peace, and God saying, you know, I want you here, um, you know, this is where I want you, and I was like, what? <laughs> like, no way. Um, you know, and I, so I was just like, you know, really? And so as the drive back, um, I, I just, I just kept praying about it. And, um, God said, you know, I want you here. And, uh, so I, the next day they called me and, you know, I took that position and I, I didn't really know what I was doing or what I was getting myself into. Um, you know, I was moving, uh, you know, like five hours away from my family and, I had never done that before. Um, I'd never been on by, like, really by myself and on my own, and it was a really scary thought, but I knew that I was here for a reason. I knew God called me to, um, to go to New Madrid, and I had no idea why. I remember a couple days before I left, I was just like, God, like, I, remember I couldn't sleep. I was like, I, I don't know what, why you're doing this to me, um, but I'm going to go, and um, I'm going to honor you because I know that that's what you want me to do, and I can just feel your presence there, um, even though, like, I have no clue what's going on, and, um, and so, uh, we, uh, random stuff, like, I randomly saw a couple weeks before I moved here, um, a, the, the Terra Nova sign, like, while we were driving through, me and my mom went to go to, I went to Applebee's and got something to eat, and, um, I saw the Terra Nova sign, um, when we were down here, and I was just like, okay, like, Terra Nova, like, that's interesting, and, you know, in a Saturday night service, I was like, well, either they're Catholic, or, you know, non-denominational, like, what do we got going on here, so, um, you know, so I just looked at that, and I was like, okay, look, I can try that out, that's not a big deal, and at that point, I had pretty much, you know, you know, made the decision, um, because half the reason why I wanted to be in urban was because I wanted to have the, like, non-denominational feel, and that's where I wanted to go to church, you know, the acts, like, church that, um, you know, people, you know, pretty much this setup, like, <laughs> just, and I thought that was the only place was in urban areas, and so, um, anyway, and so we moved down on July 7th, I packed all my stuff up, and my parents came and, um, dropped me off, and, um, and then, um, and so I, you know, I sat there, and at 3 o'clock, and, you know, I said my goodbyes, and, uh, my dad told me later on that my grandma was, like, crying the whole way back, because she was so scared for me, like, because, you know, I had no one, and, um, so my parents left at 3 o'clock, and I knew that the service was here at 5, and so I came, um, I came here, and, uh, it was one of those things of just coming, and, 
um, feeling like I belonged. Um, you know, and, and it was just, it was everything that God, that I had, put, that I wanted, like out of a church, like I literally, before that I had written down everything that I wanted in a church, and it was here, and it's just like, oh my gosh, like how is this happening, and you know, and I didn't have to go, like I, you know, I thought, before that I needed to go to an urban area or go back home, um, but God had his plan for me, and he knew where I was going, and, um, you know, it's one of those things that you just think that um, you have it all figured out, but you don't, and, um, you know, and I just, you know, I feel God's presence here, and um, and I know I'm here for a reason, and this reason is Terra Nova, and I don't know what I have in store, you know, here in this church, but, but it's good, and, um, and God has blessed me through that, and um, I just, you know, I just encourage people, you know, to do this, to take that testimony, take, you know, take your story to people, because that's, you know, where we have God's love, and um, that's where he's shown through us. Um, you know, we talk about this song um, that he's playing right now is, um, you know, All Things New by Elevation, and um, it's one of those first songs that I found here um, in uh, whenever I came, and um, that you guys, you know, told me about, and so something that happens, like, in the bridge, whenever he's singing is, you know, your love never ending, your grace never failing, redemption is calling us home, and, you know, your, his love is never failing, it'll never go away, and even though I thought that I knew what I was doing with my life, I didn't, and I came here, um, I surrendered uh, my life uh, to God, and I told him, you know, it's in your hands, and um, he will bless it through, and he truly has, and I am in such awe of him, and um, and so, you know, when we come back here up to worship, you know, we make all things new, and, um, and we should be, you know, just amazed by that, that he makes all things new, and, and because of that, we are truly free. <laughs> You guys can stand up or if you prefer to sit or whatever, if you want to take advantage of the worship stations tonight, you can do whatever. But here in this moment, let's just focus on God and, and let him know how thankful we are that he never leaves and his love never fails. Sing. 
is new Yes, you are You are making all things new You are making all things new And we are free My whole life. 
life My whole life I place in your hands God of mercy humble I bow down Your presence at your throne
my heart will sing no other name Jesus Jesus my heart will sing no other name Jesus Jesus my heart will sing no other name Jesus Jesus my heart will sing no other name Jesus my heart will sing no other name will sing no other name Jesus Jesus my heart will sing no other name Jesus Jesus this for me he loves like a hurricane I am a tree and bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy but when all of a sudden I am unaware of these Thy glory, and I realize just how beautiful you are, and how great your affections are for me. And oh, oh how He loves us! Oh, how He loves us! He loves us this for me he loves like a hurricane I am a tree bending beneath the weight of his wind and mercy when all of a sudden I am unaware of these afflictions Eclipsed by glory, and I realize just how beautiful you are, and how great your affections are for me. And oh, how he loves us so!
like a sloppy wet kiss in my heart turns violently inside of my chest I don't have time to maintain these regrets when I think about you've come here tonight and you just have something that's on your heart or something that you've been really struggling with whether it's a sin in your life or or just a, a trial I'm here to tell you tonight that God wants to listen to you. And he wants you to come to him. We are to be prayerful in all things, amen. So as we continue to play, if, if there's something you need to bring to the altar or, or if you need someone to pray with you, don't be ashamed of that tonight. Pray with me. Father, I thank you, Lord, for all that you're doing in this city, God. And God, I just thank you for all the opportunities and ministry, Father. God, I'm just so thankful for all that you do, God. That all good comes from you, Father. God, I thank you for giving us time to praise your name and worship you. God, I pray for those in here tonight that are struggling, God. God, I find myself in the midst of all kinds of struggles every day, Father. God, and it's you that brings me through them, that delivers me through them, Father. God, I thank you for that, Lord. And I pray, I pray for anyone in here tonight, God, that's fighting, Lord. 
God, I pray for that person in here tonight that's just ready to give up, God. God, I pray that you may be their strength, God. And once again, Father, we just lift you up and praise you. God, tonight is all about you, Father. And it's all about worshiping you, God. God, you reign in this building. God, you reign in this place, Father. Everything that we are, God, is about you. God, I just thank you, Father. And we proclaim tonight that you are here, Lord. tonight we lift you up Lord on this final song Lord with everything that we have God God with our arms high and hearts abandoned God we give it to you tonight Lord this is about you and we proclaim that you reign in this place God you the last time I will, I will worship, like it's the last thing I do, only you, God. I will worship, like it's the last time I will, I will worship. 
Lying is the last thing I do Only you, God Only you, God God, you I can feel your presence, God, you reign, all that I am, and in this place, I can feel your presence, God, I come before you tonight humbled by all that you done tonight, God. All the praise and the honor and the glory be to you. It's all about you and what you've done and what you're still doing. God, we thank you and we love you and we praise you in your holy name we pray. Amen. Well, I guess this is it. <laughs> so um, if you want to go ahead and flip the, those lights on, and if you could kill those, I'm burning. If you kill those lights, I'm burning up up here. <sighs> All right. So um, I guess that's going to conclude our uh, night of worship tonight. Um, does anyone have any announcements or anything that needs to be said? Okay, hold on. How come whenever Chad says this, everyone's just like coming up here with, oh, there we go. Candy Carnival. Yes, the Candy Carnival is going on. <laughs> Not right now, but it's going to happen at the YMCA. And we need candy for it. We need lots of candy. Yes. Candy corn, Tootsie Rolls. All right. <laughs> but um, I want to thank you guys for all coming out tonight. Um, just a few announcements from like Terra Nova Worship. Um, next Saturday night, we're going to be gone. Um, the whole worship team is actually going to be gone, and we're playing uh, at Zalma. We're going to be playing with Christ Like. And uh, there's supposed to be a lot of people there. I'm told like 500, but we all know how that goes. But <laughs> but um, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Um, we haven't got to play full band in like probably two months, so this will be our first time kind of getting together and really jamming. So it would be pretty cool. But uh, I think it's a it's at the Zama School, and I think it starts at six, maybe seven. I'll get back to you on that. But if you guys want to come out, you're more than welcome to come out, and uh, it's gonna be awesome. I know uh, Christ Like's gonna be doing a concert that night. Um, it's gonna be really loud, so that's usually pretty cool. But uh, CD, <laughs> the CD is coming along really good. Um, we're getting close. Um, for those of you that don't know, we're planning on doing a full 10-song uh, album, so we're getting close. I think we have one song completely done, so it's really coming along. <laughs> that was a joke. But uh, no, just be, be praying for us um, that God just continues to, to speak through us in his writing and, and uh, that everything just goes through smoothly. Um, this project's gonna it's gonna take a little bit more financially to get, so um, just be praying about that. And if you feel led to to donate or give or whatever, feel free to do that. Um, see Lori if if you are interested in that. But um, <laughs> anyways, I want to thank you guys, and uh, I'm gonna have Jennifer uh, pray us out tonight, and you guys will be dismissed. God, thank you for um, for showing up tonight, for for coming in, and for allowing us to worship with you. And God, we pray that um, as we go out, that that we would continue to have hearts of worship. God, we just thank you and we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.